It's 50 times stronger than heroin and a lethal, even in extremely small doses. We are talking about fentanyl. Galveston police are investigating after they say two men overdosed on Christmas Day. Andy Sirota live tonight in our newsroom with much more on the arrest in this case. And Andy, police are telling you their investigation is far from over. Daniela, that's right. 23 year old Patrick Miller, who's accused of supplying those drugs, is in police custody. But this case is not closed tonight. Investigators say there may be more suspects with Miller potentially facing additional charges. There's poison on our streets. Galveston police say they believe the white powder inside this baggie with pandas on it is what killed 31 year old Vadim Burka and 34 year old Dmitry Gudovsky on Christmas Day. Both men attended the same social gathering at the 8300 block of Seawall, where authorities say they bought what they believed was a small bag of cocaine from Patrick Miller. Investigators say it tested positive for fentanyl. Two milligrams is all it takes for a fatal overdose. This is not being made by million dollar machines. This is being made sometimes with a spoon. And if you get the measurement wrong, it can be an immediate death. Burka and Gudovsky knew one another as both men were here from overseas, living in Galveston on a work visa. Burka was found unconscious at the 8300 block of Seawall. Gudovsky discovered in the same condition about 20 minutes later at the 5300 block of Seawall. Both men died at the hospital and were found with similar style baggies of white powder. Police arrested Miller. 10 days later. If you see a bag that looks like this and it's a panda on it, there is a good chance that there may be fentanyl in this bag. You don't want to handle it. You don't want to touch it. Fentanyl deaths have increased in recent years in Texas to combat the growing crisis. Governor Greg Abbott reportedly said that he wanted to make Narcan, a drug used to reverse opioid overdoses, more readily available across our state. Live in the newsroom tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.